Hey guys, these are the sockets after the ultrasonic cleaner. And uh, those over there at the end are Taiwan ones. Looks like we had some Indestro, a couple snap-ons, and then maybe a full set of wards. I haven't went through them yet. I'm gonna polish them up. Uh, USA extension, I'm not sure what that is. Um, I'll do some work. There's a Thorson back there. The black sockets, I don't know what they are either. I can't read anything on them. But uh, yeah, these will be in the next video. So I just wanted to kind of show the process, what I go through. That ultrasonic cleaner really cleans them up nice. But when I start polishing them, I'll set one out here that I just kind of started on a little bit just to show you what these wards will look like. So it really makes a big difference. So grab that one there. You can see it in the light. Okay. I just started on it, so we'll see. I'll show you the guys, show you the sets when it's uh, all done. Hey guys, um, this is the Ward sockets that I took out of that older uh, rusted up toolbox, and I kind of wanted to the pictures at the beginning, and these are what they finished out to be. I think they turned out really nice. It's a nice set. Um, I'm not sure if they made them, but the 5 8 and the 9 16 are in the, well, the square drives here. That's what I'd use them for. And uh, and this is just an old snap-on, but it got uh, pretty pitted. I can't do much with it, the drag link. And uh, this guy here was rusted pretty much. You couldn't tell anything about it. It was just stuck. So I put it in an evap evapo-rest. And then um, ran it on some of my wheels and stuff to polish it up. It's a little half-inch drive breaker bar. I have no idea what it was for a um, brand. The end of it was, uh, I think it was broke. I have to look back at the pictures on it. But I just cut it off a little bit. It's like a half an inch of it. But it turned out to be a nice little breaker bar. I don't know if it's awards or not. And some of the stuff I looked at online... I didn't know wards went back that far, but some of them are saying that possibly uh, 1930s for the way uh, this one's written with the line and the apostrophe before the S. And I lost uh, a little bit of the chrome in this. You can see some of the copper in the chrome coming through and the polishing, but I did protect it. And uh, with this, after I polished it, I used this stuff here too as well over the top. I think it's pretty decent stuff. Um, pretty nice uh, six inch extension here. Half inch drive. It don't really have a, just says made in USA with a part number on it. It don't have wards or anything on it. I just kind of assumed since it was with this complete set, everything was so rusty in that box. And then I have a couple pictures too shown out of that box with this was on, um, it's a Bonnie. But it was completely, uh, I oiled it up after I straightened it and polished it. But this was in pretty bad shape. But I was kind of happy to see that it was a Bonnie. And then uh, I just wanted to kind of show, these are good ones to practice on. This wrench was in really, really rough shape. So I uh, polished it up. Um, tried to get all the pitting out of it and stuff. You'll see the pictures at the beginning of the video of this one. And it was pretty bad on um, this end here was actually broke so I just rounded them off kept it the same size you can kind of see but this will I'll just put this on my wall it's not a I have these s curve wrenches anyway but I just kind of want to show it and then in a previous video I showed you guys uh, I wanted to show you the books that I got with that Kennedy box there was a roof construction an old stair thread gauge here Kind of, kind of neat. And uh, roof, I think the guy he was into a little bit of everything. Here's a little mechanics uh, book with gearing and all that kind of stuff on it. Speed Square, and then this is the machinist handbook I was talking about. It was really nice, but the estate sale that day it was raining, and I put it underneath the table to. And it got some a uh, little bit of water damage. Didn't hurt the book at all, but. It was kind of kind of a bummer for how nice it was. Then this book was there, Machinist Ready Reference. 
and uh, then another book uh, it's called the machinist handbook it's mainly for just little hobby machinists and stuff but uh, it was kind of neat to get those books I'm gonna put them in that uh, Kennedy deal or Kennedy box sorry and then in that rusty box that you guys seen at the beginning the these sockets here I just cl uh, cleaned them in the ultrasonic cleaner and de her, but uh, I didn't polish them or anything until I get a full set and then I'll start polishing but this is like a proto here half inch drive deep and uh, Powercraft but I got a lot of the industrial and Powercraft in there and a lot of the SKs this one here is pretty marked up but like I said I don't really clean them up a whole lot until I have a full set this here is a Matco Impact half inch drive 7 8 Thorson and I think I had a yeah, this was a snap-on. Really nice socket, half-inch drive. That was mainly the uh, difference here. There's some snips, but they need to be straightened out here a little bit. They're really rusty, too. I'll grab the other pair here that I... I didn't get a picture of these, but these were, uh, I don't know if they'll show up in the box or not, but these were really rusty. And, uh, they're gas pliers, but, uh, I thought they were, they turned out really good. Uh, they're Uticas. I blued the handle, polished these all up, oiled them, and then I used that flitz on them. And, uh, these were the rest of the sockets. And I'll show you guys the. It's really not a lot, but they're just sockets that uh, SK and Industrial. And I think there's one more snap on in there. And then the the tools that I got out of that thing, even after the ultrasonic cleaner, these are kind of what they looked like. So it kept, took a lot of. This is one of the sockets that I haven't done yet. So you can kind of see how bad a shape the stuff really was in and the wrench and the wrench I done was every bit as bad as this one yeah hope you guys like them and uh I think they turned out really good I'm happy with them and I'll put them in a, a set since they're all here pretty much and start working on the other sets have a good day you guys